Hey everybody, do you recognize the leaves on this tree? These leaves belong to my peach tree. And today we're gonna to be talking about how we can use peach tree leaves in tea. This tree is already starting to turn yellow for fall. But every year, all of these leaves fall down here and they do go back into nourishing this tree and the soil that this tree is um, growing in. So they do get really good use. But I could do so much more than just harvest the fruits off of this tree. I can also use the leaves to make some delicious and healthy tea. There's so many good medicinal qualities that can be found in these leaves. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I am gonna be drying these leaves and we are gonna go inside and we're gonna discuss the benefits of peach leaf tea. so good but for you tea enthusiasts oh man this is a fragrance that is just intoxicating it just smells so good all these leaves who knew <laughs> all these leaves combined together smells so good welcome to tea tuesday my name is keisha and this is my channel saving greens homestead thank you guys for tuning in today you already saw the opening part of the video. We're talking peach leaves and the benefits of and the uses of peach leaves. Now, we all enjoy eating the fruit, right? I canned some of the fruit from my harvest last season and we love, you know, peach tea. I just didn't know that I could use the peach leaves for tea. And not just the peach leaves, I read that even the peach bark can be used for tea or tinctures. So there's a lot of uses for our peach trees that I wasn't even aware of. And I have two big peach trees. So this is gonna be interesting, you guys, especially for me, because if it's something that I like, then I am gonna utilize it because I am just trying to be way more efficient with my garden. I am gonna be reading to you some of the benefits and stuff that I found, and I will put all the links of the information, the article that I'm getting this from and everything down in the description below. So, okay, you guys, I cannot wait for my trees to start blooming and forming, uh, growing out their leaves and stuff again in the spring. Right now I have buds, uh, little flower buds, but they're not bloomed yet. But I just can't wait. When I did the first part of this video, it was during, just before fall, just before it lost all its leaves. Um, and I was able to harvest the leaves that I'm using now and dry them. Okay, so peach leaves helps to reduce anxiety and irritability and it soothes overheatedness that's interesting and it helps out with tummy aches like i said earlier you can use the dried out bark to make tinctures and things like that or tea and it's good for sore throats it's also a good nervous system balancer um, it says here to avoid the bark though if you're pregnant. So if you're pregnant, don't use it. <laughs> and I don't know why. It doesn't say exactly why. That's where you come in and you go do your research and you find out. It says here that it's packed with antioxidants which helps rejuvenate skin and improve cardiac health. Peaches themselves has a good amount of calcium and fluoride in them and it helps to boost your um, metabolism. I already know that there's peach tea available on the market, but imagine if you use the peach fruit and the peach bark and the peach leaves to make a combined tea. What a powerhouse that would be, right? On this article, it also tells you how to prepare the tea, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do mine, so. 
there's so many uses you guys and I don't want to try and search out and you know list everything you're just gonna have to go and look it up I just wanted to give you a, a, a quick rundown a little a glimpse <laughs> into what it's good for because there's a lot of things that it's good for so right now I am going to get this set up so that I can um, get this tea brewing and I'm only going to crush up a few leaves here probably because these are kind of skinny so probably like four or five leaves and crush them up in here I'm getting leaves everywhere I'll be trying not to make messes I really do <laughs> but for some reason I can't get around it or avoid it it just happens I'm putting in about eight leaves all together because these are kind of skinny and small so oh it smells good I don't know if it's just me but it has like a cinnamony type smell to it uh, you can smell the greenness from it I just I love using dried leaves versus fresh leaves to make teas and stuff because it just has to me it has a different um dimension of flavor to it than if i was to use the fresh leaves so but this these leaves dried they have like a a spicy not like spicy hot but like cinnamon spice type like a spice cake type smell to it that's just weird. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It was kind of like how the apple leaves were. So I'm just going to add some boiling water from my Insta Hot Spigot here. I love this thing. Because I don't have to boil the water on the stove. It automatically, the water comes out already at a uh, boiling temperature so I'm gonna let this steep for about an hour and then I will come back and taste it and give you my opinion and my review on peach leaf tea it's been a little bit longer than an hour. I am ready to taste this and give you my review on it. As you can see, it's a light green color. Okay, you guys, I have my tea right here. I'm gonna smell it first. Hmm smells like green tea smells very green not unpleasant now to try it oh that's good hmm oh yeah you guys this tastes like the best green tea I've ever tried it has that green taste to it. It's good. Nothing unpleasant about it. It just tastes fantastic. Wow. You guys, if you have a peach tree in your garden, I highly suggest that you try this. <laughs> when your leaves pop out, <laughs> or if you already have leaves, take some of the leaves and dry them and make you some peach leaf tea. This is really, really good. Oh yeah. And you guys know I don't use sweeteners with my teas, but if you were to take the skins and dehydrate them and use them in your tea with the peach leaves, oh my goodness. I think that is gonna be, that would be a great combination. I think that would make for some really good tea because of the sweetness from the skin and the green from the leaves. Oh yeah. 
Oh, you guys have to try that. Let me know in the comments if you do try it because I'd be interested to know what you think about that. So join me again next Tuesday for some more tea using another leaf out of the garden. Thank you for watching this video. And as always, you guys, God bless.